Hey there. So today I am going to refinish a table or paint a table, I guess. Um, I don't do projects like this very often. Um, I'm relying on some help from one of our home boutique owners here in um, the area where I live. And I, what happened was last week I got a new to me kitchen table and chairs. Uh, the table and chairs I had were over 10, almost 12 years old, I guess. And the chairs were falling apart and stuff. I have two chairs that are in good shape. The table is in decent shape. My kitchen does not have a ton of counter space, but it's huge. And so I'm going to use the table as like an island in the middle for now. But I wanted to repaint it <coughs> because um, this table has seen better days bless its heart <laughs> so this is the table the finish had worn off the top a long time ago and it was like sticky so i would put just cheap tablecloths on those vinyl back tablecloths because my kids are messy eaters and i didn't want to always have to wash the a cloth tablecloth every day but as you can see the back of that vinyl tape, those vinyl tablecloths will come off. So I'm going to sand this down and repaint it. I'm going to use any Sloan chalk paint. I have never used a chalk paint before. Um, so the color I'm going to use is this one right here, this Giverny, I believe is what she said it was. I wanted a pop of color in here. So I'm going to use this Gaverni. So she uh, gave me all the information here. I've got my chalk paint and then a clear matte lacquer to go over the top. And she said that this is really typically used for like uh, flooring to cover uh, flooring. So it's going to be very, very durable, which is something I wanted. So I actually had, I mean, look at this, how old is this? <laughs> I don't even know. Um, I'm sure this was something that was my dad's <laughs> many, many years ago, probably a decades ago. They're supposed to go on the back of um, sanders and they're, they're sticky. I'm just gonna use these because she said, honestly, I shouldn't need to sand down the legs just to take some Dawn dishwashing liquid and mix with some vinegar and wash it off. So after I sand the top down, I'm going to do the same thing as I'm just going to wash it all down. Let's get started. Okay, so I have the tables cleaned off, um, wiped it all down. I had a um, cheap party plastic tablecloth that you can get at Dollar Tree or whatever. I put that down underneath it to kind of hopefully um, spare the floor. I'm not taking it outside because I don't know if I'm gonna get interrupted in doing this. You know, kids home all the time right now. Um, so I'm gonna do it here in the kitchen. She said the paint dries super fast. Um, so I'm just planning on, we'll let the kids eat in the living room for the next couple of nights if I need to, or until it's done, if it takes a couple of days. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna open the side door and the front door, maybe even the windows here to make sure that um, the room is vented good. So I've opened up the paint. I shook it really, really good before I opened it use my little screwdriver there that is a gorgeous blue it's going to give this room such a great pop of color table of the Annie Sloan chalk paint in, in Giverny, if I'm saying that right. Um, I see a few places like right here 
where I thought I got all the junk sanded off of it and I didn't. Um, I may go over that again and I don't know. It, it maybe it'll give it some character once I get done. Um, this is the first coat and I mean this, she said it would look like this after the first coat. I've never used chalk paint before. I don't know anything about it. Um, I did a really good job of not making a mess on the floor because, well, I'm messy. Um, and it didn't, it didn't take a lot of the, the, the chalk paint. So I'm gonna have a ton left over. Hmm. I'll just see what other projects I can come up with. So it looks like my table is pretty much dry. She was right. It dries, this paint dries really fast. So I am going to add another coat. Okay, so the sun's going down here and it's starting to get dark. Everything in here, the lights look yellow. But I've looked at the table, I've gone over it and um, I like it, I like it a lot. I think it looks really good. So I'm gonna put um, the clear coat on. She recommended two coats of the clear coat. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can get this done tonight. I have finished the first coat of the lacquer. Um, in reading the can, it said to allow one to two hours between coats, and she wants it to do two coats. Since I'm using it in the kitchen, I'm using this table kind of like an island in the middle of the kitchen. So, um, I will get another coat on tonight because, well, that's how I am, and I'm going to get another coat on. Um, so, I felt like that. Uh oh, hold on. Um, I was surprised to see that the Annie Sloan lacquer was, um, in the can it looks white. When you, you know, get it up, it's not, it goes on clear. But I was like, Whoa, did I get the wrong thing? Um, <laughs> I didn't. I can see it's clear. Um, I also noticed on the legs since I got down there again, I went to a couple of places, but they're way down on those legs. And honestly, so far for the first time of me ever doing something like this, I'm pretty stoked. So I'm going to wash the brush because I have to wait an hour to two hours. Um, the owner of the boutique was nice enough to lend me brushes so that I could, hold on just a second. Okay, sis. Uh, she was nice enough to loan me some of her brushes. She does classes at the at the shop or at, at the store, and um, I don't want this to dry in here. So I'm gonna brush uh, wash it out while I wait on this to dry before my second coat. I've waited for the sun to come out and it's just been cloudy all day, but I wanted to go ahead and show you. So I took the um, plastic tablecloth I had down underneath out, started setting up a little bit. I I love it. Um, I mean, I, for my first time, I feel like it probably is pretty good. Um, 
I, I love the color of it. I may go back and distress it a little bit later, but right now I, I'm going to leave it like it is. I love that it's a pop of color in here. Um, I have this the, that I've been putting at the end of it. I didn't even think about it last night, but I'm going to go back and paint that. I have enough paint and lacquer to paint it to match. Um, but yeah, all in all, I would say that this is a success. I love it. So I decided to go ahead and paint the table the next day. Um, I wanted to match it to the island table. And so I did two coats of the Giverny Blue. And I did most of the inside of it. I realized when I got finished that I missed a little spot on the underneath. But that's okay. I also did two coats of the top coat lacquer um, just to protect it since I knew I would be using it at the end of the island table. That's what I'm calling the big table. Um, I, I just wanted them to match since I was going to sit it at the end there with the paper products that we sometimes use on our busy days. I have to say that I honestly love these two pieces in my kitchen now. Thank you so much for watching. If you um, like this video, please like and subscribe.